Yeah, we're good, Chin. Here we go. You look good, Chinny. Thank you, man. Looking very, you, you look like an art thief. Yeah. Well, you're, all, you're dressed all in black, only you need black shoes. You've got, you've got Yeah, your, the white shoes throw it off. Yes. If you were in all black, yeah, you look like all you're- All black. Like Ocean's 19. That's right. And you're going for an art heist. I know. And you're the brains, but you're the hacker. The, you are the hacker. Yeah. Yeah. You're the guy with the earpiece in the van going, you know. Yeah. I might start Mark, with Mark looks like you part of it too. <laughs> Mark, Mark looks, looks like the distraction. All right, Mark, yeah. you cause a scene right. while the team goes through the He back. looks like a, a like a skater who just got into weightlifting. <laughs> who's also a male like, nurse. Yeah, yeah, who's yeah also he has male, male nurse, nurse pants. Yeah, you got male nurse pants. Those yeah, are, no, those you, are male nurse true. pants, dude. No, you know, and look, they're comfy. Yeah, they look good. <laughs> no, he looks like a skater who fell into this, whatever the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fell <laughs> He's got those juicy got, quads. Yeah, you come back the next day and they're like, Jesus Christ, Mark. Just juicy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Bebop yeah. and rock steady. What's uh, up, buddy? How you doing, pal? How am I doing? Uh, well, I mean, uh, listen. You, look, you know what's cool? Daddy got some sleep. Daddy got some you sleep. You rested. Well, I had to. Bobby's got some fans. Mm -hmm. Bobby's got And here's what's funny. Uh, they're a little mad at me, but I'm, I'm a Bobby fan. So that's what's interesting about this, too. And uh, uh, guys, it was a phone call. It, 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 we had to clear some stuff up. I think there's some misunderstanding. People weren't listening. I apologized immediately after, and, and I, Bobby and I spoke, and I, he read me the riot act. He's mad at me. I apologized way before any of this. I wasn't, I didn't, this stuff didn't happen, and then I apologized. I apologized, I, like, the day after yeah, I you, called, yeah, I you, called again. Yeah, you called me. I sent me. a text. Yeah, you called, yeah, I want this to be very clear. It's not like, like, man, I'm getting a lot of shit for no. this. You were... I mean, I, you, I found out two days this. after, like, I talked to Bobby, I apologize. Yeah. I don't think he's going to accept it, but that's all I can do. Yes, I did. Yes. I, 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 I did everything I could. Um, I felt terrible, be, but I did not threaten. Listen, the other thing is people are saying I'm a bully. And so I get it. I, you know, it's all, it's all good. I, I, I didn't threaten. I didn't th say I was going to get goons. I didn't threaten his life. I didn't threaten his family. I did not do that. I, I was yelling. I was mad because I, I was defending my friend. I was working on information that I believed to be true at the time, but my, my mistake was not giving him the benefit of the doubt or talking to him. And and again, I'm I apologize for that, but like like I'm a fan too. Yeah. I hey, hey, I'm with you. Like I'm with you. I, I was texting with Bobby this morning. I'm like, dude, like this is getting crazy. Like now at this point, I'm my 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 family's getting threats of violence. That's, like, that's... You, like I'm then now it's gotten to the point where my family my fiance with the baby she's getting threats of violence and she's afraid like it's it's fine it's one thing if it's hate but also guys i've been friends with bobby for a forever yes he's mad at me i feel fucking terrible as far as but the death threats we well, had a conversation and i owned up to everything and he and he accepted my apology he's still pissed at me but he accepted my apology and that was all way before all this fucking I th crazy i think over time I though he's gonna yeah, accept it but i apologize when i fuck up i apologize as a matter of principle yes you that's have who to, you are you have yeah. to own up to it no matter what mm -hmm. you know and and no i i you know I'm not a fucking, I'm not a, have I, am I a bully? I mean, have I ever done this? I, my, my, I got angry. I was defending my friend. I got a little, you know, heated. I mean, you heated. shoved me around from time to time. I shoved you around it's a little unwanted. once in a while. Yeah, I shoved you, you shoved me in a locker. Yeah, you but said, I, stay uh, yeah. there. But what, what's fucking crazy about this is that the people that are, are mad at me in a sick way, it's like, no, no, guys, I get it. I love Bobby too. I, you don't love Bobby more than I love Bobby. I get it. I've, I've known him for 25 fucking years. Yeah. He's one of the sweetest, funniest, kindest people in the 100%, world. 100%. That's yeah. why I felt, that's why, that's what I felt. I felt fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. And I tried to do everything in my power to make it right way before this storm, this insanity. And, so and, and B, you it's know. Like, you, well, I, guys, you, it was a phone call. Yeah, you made a mistake. You apologized. You owned up to it. That's all you can do, brother. That's all you can do. Neither one of us handled the situation, right? You know, they but, didn't but, handle the situation. But there right? has been, there has been really, really bad harassment and and, and threats of violence yes, against that's how this you goes. for a very long time. Mm -hmm. When your team, when your team shows, sh when I see what your when your team shows me what I what I consider to be at least activity mm -hmm. and long term activity coming from that area. That's what set me off. And I was like, what the fuck is going I'm, on? And I made them, now, now I, made, are, I made them aware of that. Yeah. And they're, they're trying to get to the bottom of it. I, I will I say that so. they're not like, no, it has, just it like, has no, stopped. but they are. But it has stopped. It has stopped. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and that's so all that, I wanted out of this. That's Nobody's all you want. suing or anything like that. Me and, and Kalila text each other today. 
Yeah, I just it's want to over. drop this shit. Yeah, no, it's like, over. Like, this is not me. I have no ill will. I do not want anything bad to happen. I love that guy. Okay? But that, B, let me, let me tell you this, too. Is like, it's over. Yeah. That's done with. I have nothing but love for them. You won't hear a negative thing, and nor have you heard a negative thing about them on this no. podcast. In the 10,000 shows that I've done, no one's ever went at them in any facet. But... There's like there's gonna be hate and gossip and people love the podcast drum and stuff like that. It's not what we specialize in. Yeah. We nor have we ever done that. I, I never pay attention to it, but when my but fiance this, is saying I'm getting But this is all I'm telling you is like there's that, but th that those whoever those extremists that are and take it from a guy who's been has his black belt and haters. I, yeah. Those extremists and those guys doing that over the top shit, they're the minority. Yeah. Like I, you're loved. You know, you know this. So yeah. is Bobby, so is Kalila, so am I. <laughs> Everybody in here, their staff everybody's loved. But when you focus on that, it, you can go down a very, very dark road, and that's not reality. Yeah. The, and the, and also they're not gonna they're gonna send those threats, you know. Yeah, and, and obviously, say, but it's just awful. End of the for, day, for me, I can handle it. It's awful for a woman with a baby at home. No. She has nothing to do with it. Try you being know, married to me. The best person. Try being married yeah. to me. It's, it's really. Like, it's like being married to the fucking Joker. Yeah, it's more like, than toxic. It's it's fucking basically terrorist threats. It's crazy. Yeah, so, man. You're talking about uh, some real. I've never been extremist. on the receiving end, end mm -hmm. of this insanity, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of people have. But it's like, whoa, whoa, guys, whoa! I had a. I yelled at a friend of mine on the phone. There's somebody I'd known a long time who I love. Okay, I and I then I immediately when I, I believed him. I go, I believe you, and I, I tried to call as soon as you spoke to me. No, I know, Delilah, but we, you've covered it, brother. I know. You've I just want, it. It's I want all you to can do, that. brother. I know. Yeah. You, you've covered it. Those people that- I don't, have the text. I, I know showed the, the text. You've, I, you've done all that. Yeah. Here's my thing with this. You've done that. You've yeah. said your piece. Yeah. You know, those extremists are looking for reasons to, to bring you down or bring us down or it's bring nuts. them down. You don't love him more than I do. Yeah, I know. a bigger fan than I am. But you, 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 know, yeah. you just can't focus on that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you've said your piece. Now it's up to them to decide what they want to do with it. Yeah, That's yeah. it, man. Yeah, yeah. Come it's to me. Over. Come after me. Don't don't threaten my family. Come yeah. on, guys. Yeah. Don't scare the shit out of a woman who's got a baby at home. Please. Come on. That's that's. This is where it gets fucking crazy. Stop. That's cowardly Come, You want to come for me? Fine. Yeah. And again, we've squashed this. We, we have squashed this. That's my... I love that guy. I love that guy. Okay? So it was a phone call. I yelled at a friend. Bad news. I understand, but... We're good. We're good. Let's move on. Can we put this to bed, oh, please, please? Can we please. put this to bed? Is there anything and, worse than this negative talk? I just, I you, hate you, you it. Know what, you know what's crazy to me, B? You know what's crazy to me? There's shows out there. Yeah. There's like big po big podcasts yeah. that specialize in just this. I don't know how they can do it. The how, energy. God bless them. The negative. I respect it. I don't, I don't do how it. How do you sleep? I don't know, man. I can't. I can't. Uh, I, I don't like conflict. No. I don't like fighting. Mm -mm. I don't like, uh, I don't like, and if you fuck up and if you've been mean to somebody or whatever, you got to own up to it. You got to say sorry. You got to make it right. Yeah, but like you know, those. So, so that you can, like everybody, you can create a wake. You can create bad energy, right? Like you yell at uh, like your loved one or you get mad at somebody and you fuck them things up. And that's going to happen because you're human, right? You, sometimes you, you, but you got to make it right. No, yep. You got to fucking make it yeah, right. Yeah, it's just crazy me. Like there's some shows that that's literally like the clickbait, the TMZ. And, Jesus. Like, the YouTube beefs and like I could never all they do is focus on toxic. it and their views are nutsos and oh. I'm jealous of that. Well, I think but human beings, I just can't, human I beings can't love, do it. Yeah, people love drama. Drama. Like, like the news, you can't say everything is great. Nobody will listen. You got to say everything is bad. And people, I, I do it too. Yeah, but think about the algorithm just in social media in general. Like, the negativity rises to the top. Yeah. Like, if you say Chin's the best producer in the world, yes. it gets three likes from you, me, yeah. and Mark. Yeah, my friends. If said you that. say Chin is a sociopath serial killer right. and he's the worst producer, it gets a hundred retweets and a thousand. Yeah. It's just the that's that's the way social media. Unfortunately, the algorithm has made that. Yeah that people engage with that and they're not going to engage with the positivity. Yes. It's very rare. Well, well, that that's what happens. The algorithm is happy. So Instagram is happy. Twitter's happy. If, if there's bad, if there's toxic energy, oh, well, they don't, those they don't platforms care. are, no, they, they don't, don't care. They don't care what it is. Want, as long as there's activity. engagement, they want activity. They, they don't want care attention. what it is. Yes. And so does Fox news and CNN. Like, they're 100%. not doing great stories of positive things. No. They want to be like, there's a conspiracy. They're going to scare you. There's, Here's a murder. You're like, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You think the I world's do too. on I fire? Fall, I fall for it too. Like, I, well, everybody loves gossip. Everybody, like, yeah. if you say, if I call you up and I go, I have gossip, you'll call me. 
I can't even hang up the phone. I'm like, what's time. happening? Like, what's going on? Tell me that. You know, we all want to know. I wonder, why, I wonder why we're like that. I wonder why humans are like that. I think it. I think it takes some pressure off our, off of us, because I think all of us want to be perfect, or we're trying to be. You know, like there's this perfection syndrome, and then when we find out other people are fucking up, we're like, oh wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be that perfect. If that guy's fucking up, then maybe I'm human too. I think well, the, but there's also a reason why those big reality shows, you know, do well because the drama, right? Like you're not, I guess you might be invested in, you know, one of the real housewives or whatever it is, love and yeah. hip hop. Yeah. You're invested in when there's beef, like that's the narrative. Yeah. And you can't wait. Like Teen Mom, which yeah. I've never missed an episode. Not a big deal. <laughs> Like Dude. the reunions are so toxic. I, I, Maybe let's take a little break, man. And I'll tell you where I'm not taking a break is Philadelphia next week. Next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm in Philadelphia. Brotherly love. Why don't yep. you come to the show, brothers? And we're going <laughs> to hug. We're going to take our pants come off. This show, There's going to be a bunch of wieners and a mm -hmm. lot of thickies. And come. that's why you're not going to be... That's why I'm going to be in Philly just to get touched and hugged and by my brothers. Yep, yep. Your brothers, come on out. That is next Thursday, Friday, Saturday in Philadelphia oh, at the Helium. Uh, and then Portland, Oregon at the Helium as well is June 9th through the 11th. Uh, then San Francisco, June 17th through the 18th. Get your tickets at thickboy.com. But Philly, brothers, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Look, this weekend starting Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm the DC Comedy Loft. Get your tickets at the DC Comedy Loft. And then we have the Bray Improv, my taping, May 19th. That's Thursday. The first show's almost sold out, but we have tickets for the second show. Get your tickets. Um, and then West Palm Beach, Florida, I will see you May 27, 29. That's Memorial Day weekend. I can't wait. Uh, we're going to have some fun. Now. I'll tell you what we Brent, need more of. Yeah. Sleep need more sleep and to some you spend me, most of your life in sleep but you gotta have a good mattress brennan dude if you if you're just sleeping on your, that generic mattress that came with the house that you just bought at no, any no, no, store no. you're doing no. it wrong you man. go to you, helix dude helix. i'm glad you, you said take that. a quiz it takes two minutes you complete it matches your body type your sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you okay? it's just for you it's a custom mattress picked and built just for you they are the best yes it listen i sleep on helix well they got soft they got medium they got hard, firm. hard dude yeah Soft, yes. medium, firm. Depends. I took the quiz. I was matched with the perfect mattress just for me because I like it firm. I sleep on my side and I move around a little bit. You a hot sleeper? You a cold sleeper? Uh, they got, they got, they got I get both. hot. Yeah, they help that out. Yeah. I put one leg out. You feel mm -hmm. me? Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a mattress, you take the quiz, you order the mattress that you're matched to. The mattress comes right to your door ship for free. You don't ever need to go to a mattress store ever again. Awarded number one overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Yeah, dude. What just, do you need? Yeah, I know. Come on. Go to helixsleep.com slash fighter. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they will match you with your perfect mattress built just for you, and you have the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty. You can try it out 100 nights risk-free. 100 nights. If you don't love it, they'll pick it up, but you all don't worry about that. Helix is offering you guys up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows. For the listeners and viewers of Fighter and the Kid, helixsleep.com slash fighter. They got financing options as well. Look, you want to pay off your student loans faster? Listen up. A lot of people could use this help. Student debt is yep. no joke. No joke. But you you're can refinance. You can refinance. You're smarter, Ernest. but you're in the hole. Right. You can save thousands by refinancing with Ernest. It, federal student loan payments are on hold, but with rates this low, now is a good time. Refinance. You can use that money. To, for a savings account, put into a business, whatever it might be. Yeah, man. Ernest has some of the lowest rates. They have flexible payments and in-house team ready to help you out. By refinancing, you can reduce your loan term, save money, combine multiple loans into one simple monthly payment. If you have any questions, talk to a real human being at Ernest for help. When you pay less interest, you can put that money towards whatever goals you got, man. With Ernest, it takes only two freaking minutes to see what your new rate could be, and there's no credit impact. Right now, Ernest is offering you guys a $100 cash bonus. Refinance your student debt at earnest.com slash fighter, now available in all states. Once again, you get a 100 bucks cash bonus when you visit earnest.com slash fighter to refinance your student loan. Hit it, Brian. Hit that Visit part. Visit earnest.com slash fighter for more details. Not available in all states. Terms and conditions apply. Ernest. Student loan refinance made by Ernest Operations, LLC, NMLS, 124917, California Refinancing Law, License Number 6054788535 Mission Street, San Francisco, California 94105. Visit earnest.com slash licenses for a full list of licenses. Earnest.com slash fighter. I was at Wally's yesterday and I saw 
the blonde dude, the you know, Fuck Boy Island. Remember the tall blonde dude who was. I didn't watch that. Oh, uh, he was great. He was unapologetic, and it, what a good looking guy. He was Jesus out. He was at the restaurant. I I actually noticed him because he was so good looking. Yeah, I was just of like, course you did. Of course I yeah, of did because I'm basically gay. But I, I I looked at I was looking at his legs and his, I was like, geez, wh who's this professional volleyball? Player? What if you were like, and then I bullied him. I pushed him into the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. I grabbed yes. cucumbers. I slapped yes. his face with cucumbers. I've never been, yeah. This is the first for me to be called a bully. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and hey, it can be for the I own point. it. Yeah. I own it. I'm not a bully, but I, this is the first for me, and I get it. I get it. Anyway. Yeah, that drama. But it's even with sports, like. Oh, this coach said this, or you know, and he said this about the defense, and it's like this narrative because yeah. the the nuance of everyday life, like that, gets boring for people. So they yeah. want to be invested in this weird toxic drama shit. Man. Yeah, it's really weird. That's why all shows. I mean, every reality show, you, just, you, never, you can't, can't show never. rich people buying rich things. Yeah, there has to be. They have to overcome something or have some drama. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Mark? Oh, I was just gonna say. I was thinking about this because our brains haven't evolved past living in like a hundred group people. So the goings on of other people that we consider in our tribe are so important to us. And so like true. why we can't approach women without getting nervous. Cause like back in the day, if you got rejected, everybody saw it and you're ruined, yeah. you know? So yeah, there's so a, there's on a alert state, there's of what a, other people are doing. And then reality TV tricks us into thinking that's our people. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a term for that. I can't remember, but you as a person can only know a certain number of yeah. people. Like you cognitively can only have relationships and know the names of a set number of people. Is there like 600 people. or something? something is like it 600? Yeah. Something like that. And then it breaks Is it 600 off. for you guys and 100 for me? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I just remember kind of being shocked at how low it is. Dude, what if, what if yours was 10? <laughs> well, you <laughs> might be better off. What if mine was 10? <laughs> you might be better off. <laughs> Maybe. Those 10 people get a lot of love. R but those R other Rogan people like, to be that way. Those Rogan other people would be like, dude, is he a sociopath? You yeah. can't remember past 10 people. Well, Rogan back in the day would be like, I got, I got, I trust that guy, that guy, that guy, everybody else. Who the fuck are you? What's going on? Yeah. And he got kind of like more open with And that's his, helped him. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That'll help you. Yeah. Keeping, keeping your circle tight. Yeah. What if, what if you could only have five people? It's like MySpace. Remember the top eight and your friends' feelings would get hurt if they got knocked out of like the first position? Oh my God. Imagine if your brain only remembered eight people. Who, what? Pick eight people that you would keep in your eight people. Yeah. Some of the family's going away. Yeah. So you just have to. Yeah. You get, have, well, it's going to have to be everybody in this room because I can't come in, you know, like 50 first dates and just reintroduce myself to Mark every fucking time I do a show or a chin. Right. So right. You're, it's going to have to be like your wife, yeah. your kids. I'm at three. Yeah. My dad, my brother, five. I have yep. three left. Yeah. Yeah. Can't be just three in here. Yeah, because I have to have my agent, so I know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Otherwise, he calls me like, "What do you want?" He's like, "Come on, dude." Right. You know. Yeah, there's a, there's. Wouldn't a that be there. nuts if you only had eight people like MySpace? That was real life. Chin, who's your eight? <laughs> who's your eight, dude? Everyone in here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so oh, that's one, you two, have three, five one, left. Your parents. You have five left. Yeah, my parents, my brother. Two I left. Never, I never hear about your brother. How old is your brother? He's two years older than me. What's he do? He's a IT director. Ooh, check out the big brain on. Yeah, What's his name? Chong. Check out the big name his on name it. Chong. Big brain on Chong. Chong. So it's Chin Chong. and Chong growing up, which is his terrible. name. Chong? Oh God, that race, that the the, Chong. the amount of anti Asian kind of uh, hate it, the names were Chin Chong and yeah, I bet dude, in school you got we Ching got Chong. Yeah, of course there were Ching Chong, Ching Chong. Oh, oh wow, Man, people are, I remember that really Unreal. well. I remember all that. Like that was uh -huh. the, like Asians were the last group where it was acceptable to make fun of them. Yeah, we were they, of all. I would the time, say yeah. they're the still time, not out of the woods with that. Probably not. Like, out of the no, it's, it's gotten better. Up. I think it's gotten it's a lot got better. way better. Well, well now yeah. okay, Abercrombie didn't help with that. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that shirt, Dude, Chin? No. Oh, just, we, the shirt they sold. We might have done it on. A yeah, where it was like event. two longs don't oh, make yeah, a yeah, white. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Is that offensive, Chin? Just a little. It just sounds like messed up. I think it'd be funny if you wore it. Is your brother? Is your brother a big guy? Uh, he's shorter than me, but he's still like five. 11. Yeah. Probably. Koreans are tough. Yeah. Stocky. Shit, but it's Stocky, hard. Yeah. Big calves. Huge calves. Yeah. Like yeah. Many it's more cow. It's more spirit. Koreans are just tough as fuck in like spirit. And they have a work ethic. They like will a fight mother. You. Oh, yeah. yeah no, they're, they're, they'll bear down. You're, you're going to. You so, Chen, you have two left, though. Finish it. So, it's your family. Us in here. You have two left. Who do you Jeez. have to remember and talk to? It's going to be really sad if you don't have two. What chin's like in that? No, I have it. a lot of friends. I'm thinking like, well, which we got to so cut some. Is what I'm most. saying. The, here's here's the drama of firing the kid. Mm -hmm. The drama it. of firing kid reality show. You got to cut some people out of your life. All right, I got two. All right, go. 
Lil Brows and Trevor, because we're probably going to work on music more. So, got need them. Yeah. Yeah. And you can switch them out. Yeah. You switch them out every now and then. You can substitute. Wouldn't that be <laughs> nuts, dude? Yeah. Only eight. Only eight, like MySpace. Top eight, dude. My my sister, my brother in law, my mother, my father. I mean, you. Of course, have you know, to. Um, Five. My girl. Six. Does my baby count? One hundred percent. That's a my human. baby counts. Yes, yeah, seven. Well, I got two other kids. <laughs> there you go. Hold on. See, this is where the drama. Dude, comes wait, in. I got my we baby. We got to cut one of the I kids. Got my, my first. Okay, baby. My my three kids. Okay. Okay. My girl. Yep. Okay. Your mom. But the mo what about the mom of my children? Well, I guess I could. That's your girl. Can I text with her? Oh, that you can text yeah. with her. You just won't remember. Like she'll text you, like where the fuck you been? Like who is this? Oh, jeez. She like remember we used to be married? Jesus. Like when? Oh no. We have to go over that every time. Like it's fifty first dates. Okay. Um. I so mean, she's out. Jesus. You could, now my mom and dad. So seven, we're at seven. My sister. Eight. That's all I got. I got nephews. I got. Doesn't matter. My my brother in law doesn't matter. They're out. Isn't that crazy? If you had eight. <laughs> Eight's not enough. Stresses me out. I need twenty. MySpace doesn't do twenty. Fuck. It'd be nuts, right? You didn't include your agent in that. Nothing. So I just don't know. Every time you, it's a fifty Every first dates. You're like, it who might is? Be. But they would know that, so maybe they'd be like, "Remember Brian?" Well, I'm it's like Memento that movie. Mm -hmm. You know, some people think it was a genius movie, and then they teach courses on screenplay writing and some people say this is the worst movie ever and here's why oh so interesting. Weird. but it was a good movie i thought i don't who's in it what the hell is the, the, Oscar? Actor? the Oscar, guy. Uh, guy pierce yeah. guy pierce yeah there you go he, he he forgets everything and he has to write down everything the night before yeah on, his on, body? on, on 50 first dates he has he creates a video but she always she like got in this car accident so she goes to the same restaurant every day and by the next day she forgets so he keeps reintroducing himself every day so they fall in love and then finally uh he creates a uh, videotapes mm. so she wakes up in the morning and plays the videotape wow yeah it's really sad actually yeah it's a sad it's movie gross. it's fun but the yeah. end's very sad it's like adam sandler's click that doesn't make you cry jesus christ yeah that control and he fast well, forwards that's through like his life michael keaton did a movie called my life and he has a brain tumor and, and he makes videos for his kid and I told the women in the office I worked at a long time ago when I worked in an office, and they all showed up and their eyes were this big because they'd been crying all night. And well, they were like, you know like you "You're know a fucking asshole." And I was like, "I, I was just saying it was." No, really I'll do sad. you one better. There's a, a real documentary of a stud football player. Same thing where he he's he's he has some condition and he was a stud. He blocked a, a punt. Um, a stud. Star, you know, on special teams, blocked the punt. They have a actually, they have a statue of him because when he blocked that punt, I think they went to the Super Bowl the year the Saints won, and they have a statue of him. But he has some condition where he's going to start to lose uh, his voice, and he has to type on the computer. ALS. He has ALS, but it and it, it it happened fast, and his wife is pregnant with it, her son, and he he's doing videos because it's so heartbreaking. He's doing videos to his son about you know he's like hey you know what this is how you fish and dude know, that's you want to cry would do. that's what watch i watch that documentary the hardest thing is Steve oh gleason. i know this yeah yeah, yeah. The, i think it's called glee the the gleason documentary yeah. dude it was on uh espn if you watch that and you don't terrible cry, disease you're not in my top eight and you're a sociopath it terrible is nutsos yeah. yeah you lose all that's called gleason all, dude you can't use your muscles you lose all you know all it muscle is function heartbreaking man yeah yeah and he just sends a video to, uh, to his son and uh, and that's that's him in a wheelchair and his son what a study that was him look at him and their son and because he can't speak so he has to type on the computer and obviously he's not gonna be able, that's what uh, he's not gonna be able to catch Hawkins with his son had. yeah heartbreaking your body man. just breaks down man yeah the it, hardest thing is not being able to raise your kids that's my biggest fear i'm not afraid of death I just want to be able to raise my kids because I want to teach them. Like I, I have so much. Yeah, fun I, I got all stuff there. to download on those little dudes. Yeah, because you, know? you know that's why I don't take a lot of risk anymore. Like I stopped riding my bike down to Panga. I, you know, I've always wanted a motorcycle. If I was gonna get no, no more no, motor, no. I don't drive crazy anymore. No, that's why when I my kids I don't were go born, sky day diving. They, they wanted no me to scuba go in a hot diving. air balloon. I was no, like, uh, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I don't need a bird's eye view of Napa uh, Valley because I got kids now. I'm yeah. not gonna fucking die. My head up. goes pros and cons. Pros. I go in this hot air balloon, I stare down at the ground. Cons, 
this air b- balloon fucking pops. My kids and are I orphans. Die. We were both orphans. Yes. Because it was my my, my ex and I. It's like I'm not gonna orphan my kids. Not worth it for me. No thanks. You know the won't fly in a helicopter. None of that shit. You know no bungee jumping. No, the president and the vice president never fly on the same aircraft. Correct. You know and you know, uh, in the Air Force One <laughs> and in the car that they take, that they have uh, blood in there. They draw blood from the president. And they have bags of blood in there just in case he were to get shot or something. So they have it on site. Yep. You know the Gracies, Henner and Huron won't fly together. They always fly separate. Every trip. Keep the family name together. Keep Because they both go down the business as fuck. Wow. So they always, the families always fly separate. Wow. So they right. also carry blood. Just kidding. They don't. <laughs> carry blood. That's the president. I carry satchels of blood on me at all times. Yeah. Just in I, case. Uh, oh, yesterday, speaking of which, I went down the old rabbit hole. I, I went down the prepper rabbit hole. What do you mean? Just what you got to have if the shit hits the fan, bro. What, if the, but what if, kind of shit? Well, let's like go, a civil let's, war? Let's get into like it. Like a civil war? Or the grid goes down. Do you have enough supplies for three days? Oh, yeah. Three weeks? Three months. Those are threes. We're dealing threes, buddy. How about three years? Well, there you go. Now, <clears throat> now here's the thing. What happens if the water supply gets tainted? Do you have water filters? Mm. Do you have, uh, I mean, do you have a way, do you even have, do you even have uh, a way to generate electricity? Do you have solar panels with it? They they sell solar panels with a whole contraption where you can power your electronics. No, the answer is no. Nobody does. No. Do you have, um, uh, do you have uh, things to not only purify water, but do you also have candles? Do you have lamps? Do you have ways to cook food? If your gas gets shut off, no, the answer well, is Well, that's no. why a lot of that that's why the, a lot of those people that are getting ready for the doomsday or Armageddon have a lot of canned foods. Got a lot of canned foods. Do you have canned foods? Do you have a lot of spam, a lot of corn food, by the way? Very good. Yes. Beef jerky. Yep. On on demand. Well, there's a lot of mountain, like you can get that dehydrated food, which I ate when I was hunting, and uh not the best, but it, it keeps beats, you alive. It, it keeps you alive and it's way tastier than you think, especially when you add hot water you to it. You know what? I don't want to live like that. How about that? No. Just eat me. But just have if, if there's just eat my eat my ass. Problem is you got kids, so you gotta feed them. You gotta be able to protect them. Do you have ammo? Do you have guns? Do you have that daddy has? Do you have material to hunt? Well the guns, yeah. I mean, look, there, do you have tape? Do you have first aid shit in case you can't get to a hospital? There's a thousand fucking things. I don't know if I want to live life like that. No, you don't, but I do want to be a little prepped. I'm thinking about becoming a little prepped. You know what you're talking about? You're talking about a mo- it's another throwback. It's called Blast from the Past with Brendan Fraser. Yeah. And they thought Armageddon was happening, and they stayed in their basement for 30 years, and they made it sustainable and he grows up in the in like the under bunker yes yeah, and then comes out in the 90s no, no. his first they send him up and they're like how bad is it and you know obviously it's the 90s so yeah it's great it's a good idea for a movie i'm not going underground i'll be getting a place in the woods i'm gonna bivouac and i need a water source and i need uh i got tarps and i need some paracord it and depends I, I, what's I need, going. I need it, a wood saw. I need, I need a, a wood saw. But it depends what's going down. If it's like a zombie apocalypse, the wood the woods ain't gonna save you. Uh, you know what? Well, a boat. If you had like a big ass boat, you could just yeah. all right. It's all we have all the supplies on there. We can fish for food. Yeah, we're just gonna sail off because zombies ain't jump on a boat and no, sailing. That's a good point. A boat is a good call. Yes. Just getting out in the ocean. Yeah. Now you gotta know you how to navigate the ocean. I'm not exactly a salty dog. I'm a land. I'll take my chances there. I'll be the old scalawag. I'm on a the little. Boat. I, yeah. Well, I get seasick, and I don't know how long a boat's going to. Dramamine, like, dude. You got to know boat stuff, though. You got to know how to. Get out to drive it. Yeah, I guess you'd poo over the side of the boat. That's easy. That's right? a le- where to take a shit and piss. No, no shit. Uh, the piss the is ocean, over the boat. Dude, but the ocean. Bro. The ocean. Yeah, they're surrounded by water. The ocean. Now, here's the problem with the boat. We getting fresh water, bro. See. You see what happens? Well, you got to filter it. Do you? Here, now, Do you here's know how long thing. that takes, I'm gonna, sir? I'm going to piss in your mouth. Well, after a while, that's not going to go because you're going to lose water, too. And so you're losing water. I know. We're going to have so t- tons of longer. Gatorade, tons of You're Capri pissing my Suns. mouth, and that's fine. Guess what? When you're dehydrated, you have no energy, and I have all the energy because be I got a belly full of pee. <laughs> and I'd tell my son, too. I'd be like, Daddy's thirsty. I know we have one Capri Sun left. Okay. You're gonna, Daddy's very thirsty. My, my mother knew some people uh, during World War II when I was very young. 
uh, this guy, his kids, there was, very, there was a food shortage and he, his children would try to take care of him. And he would pretend that he was he was starving, but he would pretend he had good. enough food, and he would let his kids eat. God bless him. Yeah, that's, that's what, how what, a lot what of people father in the wouldn't world though. Did. What father ah, wouldn't? Yeah, of course. of course. That of course. is dark. Now, now saw a movie, and it was pretty good on Netflix. Uh huh. It was a pretty good movie, and it was the last Rambo. It was not bad. Oh, Daddy's bored. It was. I go. Let me just take a peekaboo at this. Let me take a peekaboo. That, that doesn't Stallone, get suggested. Last blood. Thing. Sylvester Stallone pulls it off yet again, and I swear. Oh to God, no! I see. It's so violent, but it was so good. He kills good. so many guys. Oh yeah, yeah. These cartels fuck with his niece. Not a good idea. He kills so many guys. The thing about him is, you believe, you believe, you believe that this actor. Because we grew up with him killing people, so it's like, yeah, of course. And it's that that saying, like, I'm not, a, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of of you i'm afraid of what i'm afraid of me you know kind of thing no, I don't like know if i pulled one. a lid off i'm afraid of me that's what he was saying that's kind of the theme of it like don't wake the sleeping giant i know how black men's hearts can be he says, yeah, yeah. Hey. she goes well what about you? you're a good person he goes no i'm not yeah, i yeah. just keep a lid on yeah no doubt hey you're too into rambo huh i'm a little into at rambo. your age to you know <laughs> what i'm saying at your age you i just I quoted admit, Rambo, I the new Ra Rambo. Rambo. I just quoted. That's Rambo. where you're at, dude. That's where you're I'm quoting at. the new Rambo. I, I, I am. You know, it's, there's some truth to it. Where if you open this can of worms, it's dark. <laughs> I watched it with my girl last night, and I go like this. After it was done, he kills an entire cartel, and I go for sure. And I go unrealistically. And I, she just stops. She's like on her phone, and I go like this. I look at her, and I go, "It's based on a true story." <laughs> she laughing. It's like you're a fucking idiot. I can't believe you sat through it. That's cool though. It, Sometimes it, it's entertaining. It though. was not a bad movie. Sylvester Stallone really, really doesn't good. miss. I mean, I don't fuck he wrote with it. it. I don't. Of course, he yeah. does. Yeah, I didn't fuck with the Expendables. I don't like any of that shit. No, I don't either. It's it's. <clears throat> it looks like a bunch of old guys who are still. It's, it's something about it that you know. But but it's like it, yeah. It's like here he embraces his ancient frame. It's like a senior club uh, Black Waters operation. Yeah. It's like really at yeah. sixty, you guys yeah. are gonna do all this shit. You ever met a sixty year old? What what's he's how old is Stallone? Seventy four. You got. I, I don't think there's anybody on the planet. I don't think there's a 74 year old with his physical, his body. He's 75 years old. Mm -hmm. I, you need to see what he looks like. Now he's very stiff. What happens is your body gets calcified. Stiff. Daddy. He, he's a he's a high level horseman, and he fell off this horse. He did all his stunts. He's got so many injuries. So I think he has some kind of fusion in his back because his his neck and back yeah. are very very. Yeah, tight. he's very stiff. Remember he's walking he's that stiff. alligator. Remember he had a house party with an alligator. No. And he's, he's like, check out this thing. You don't remember that? He's got a great sense of humor. He looks fantastic. He's awesome. 75. Come on. Hey, B, I tell you what, man. It's a yeah. good time to check out Good RX, and you save money on prescriptions. I just use it. I'd pick up you my, save up my little 80%. man's antibiotics, dude. He was, he's been sick for days. You can my save up to said, 80%. Yeah, dude. And your boy saved it. I saved it. I saved it. I saved good it at RX. CVS up the street. It's free. It's easy to use. Works whether you do or you do not have insurance. Even if you have insurance, GoodRx may actually beat your copay price. Yeah, okay? man. They have I mean, an, go check out their app. Yep, I have an app, man. You can save uh, seventy thousand pharmacies. Yes, seventy thousand. CVS, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Vons, Walmart, so much more. All right. Yep. So for simple, smart savings on your prescriptions, check GoodRx. Go to GoodRx.com/fighter. That is goodrx.com slash fighter. Goodrx.com slash fighter. Goodrx is not insurance, but can be used in place of insurance. Medicare and Medicaid in 2021. Goodrx users saved 81% on retail prescription prices. Goodrx.com slash fighter. Boom. Brennan, you have how many pairs of shoes? A lot, dude. A lot. And Just you a spend lot. a lot of money on some of these sneakers? You got to keep them clean. My like, problem is my sneakers get dirty. Yeah. And then and then I don't have any way to clean them. Yeah, what do you dude. Do? Uh, yeah, B, I use Rejuvenator with okay. an eight, eight Rejuvenator. Check out the Chunky Donkeys. These are some of my most uh, precious prized possessions for shoes. Yeah. These are the Ben and Jerry Chunky Donkeys. Wow. Just use Rejuvenator on them because I've skateboarded. I've ran in the sand. I hiked in these. Mm -hmm. I rode my bike in these, mm -hmm. and they look fresh right now. And listen, I'm not the only one. They have over 2 million satisfied customers with a 4.5 star average reviews, all right? They have this patented signature kit. It's the most effective shoe care product on the market. They got a variety of cleaning product, products, right? Oh, dude, whatever you need to make yep. your shoe pop, pop daddy rejuvenator got you covered all right for a limited time rejuvenator is offering you guys 
the opportunity to save 15% off the most effective shoe care line. Listen, this is what I use on my kicks. That's why they're always clean. You see them on the gram, clean, dude. Spotless. All you need to I do. I can eat off them. Yeah, to go, go and lick them. No, I'm not going to. Suck them. Okay. Suck my shoes. No. That's how clean they are. That gets a little yep. crazy. If you want your shoes clean, that's anybody could suck on them. All you need to do is visit reshuvenator.com slash fighter. That is R E S H O E V N eight R dot com slash fighter. Eight. Yep. And you will save right at checkout. Reshuvenator.com slash fighter. On it, our longest sponsor. Oh, our, years, our ride or die. Years, our ride or die. For our a reason. Way. Best supplements on planet Earth. There's a reason. That you're not gonna get the you're not gonna get better supplements if you want vitamin d if you want creatine if you want protein powder if you want gut health if you want alpha minerals. brain you get alpha brain at walmart or i'm sorry at whole foods yes. now, dude. whole foods yes. has alpha brain. that's yeah. how they've blown up man they've yeah. blown up but we've been ride or die they've been ride or die it, if they you say best, any if you want to optimize they're the, the best being, man i was just in austin i visited there i can't i love these guys nobody makes a better supplement in the world than on it go to on it.com slash fighter you save 10 percent off the entire site yep. you get supplements nutrition protein bars they got dark Rose Coffee, which I love, MCT oil, Warrior Bars, Elk Bars. We have fitness for your thick ass. We have streaming fitness, on-demand workouts. You can do it at home. Kettlebells, steel maces, sandbags, battle ropes, whatever you're looking for to get your thick ass in shape. Maybe you're trying to run a thick mutter. I'm with you, dude. Go to onit.com slash fighter, 10% off. He that's, looks what, that's what long-term moderate steroid use looks like, in my opinion. Like, I, I, be I smart have to about agree. HGH for like 30 years rather than going crazy for 10 and then have a heart attack. You have to Dude, remember, remember in Australia when he got busted with HGH? Surprise, they were like trying surprise. to arrest him. He's like, really? <laughs> you shitting me? <laughs> you want, you want the movies or not? <laughs> I'm yeah. seven. Do you enjoy Rambo? <laughs> Did you like Demolition Man? I mean, you think all that shit was natural? Well... He looks. Uh, I'm Rambo. He looks so good in like. I remember back in the day, if you see him in 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 like Rambo three, okay, and you see how shredded he was, he looks fantastic. His body is fantastic, you know. So whatever he was doing, man, that's that long term. How long has he been on the juice? Do you think? Um, I never thought about it like. Until I started getting more into steroids, I realized, oh, he's been on it the whole time. Like, because you have this binary where it's like, oh, you take steroids and you become this giant bodybuilder. Yeah. Look back at these, you know, he's on low doses of hardening agents like Winstrol. Oh, he is? Oh, Rocky? Like, in yeah. Rocky? Okay, because like, yeah. he is extremely lean in those. I didn't really realize it because oh. he doesn't look out of control. But if you look like, so, you know, eight, one of the big things HGH does is it converts, um, it's a you know, your body's preferred. Fuel source too fat, so it increases the lipolysis a lot. He's so lean That's gotta be versus his muscularity for a seven yeah. year old, like and taking HGH regularly. I mean, it doesn't. It's not all positive because everything know, grows. Correct, it, and you can't. It doesn't decide the, what to grow. Yeah, like it grows your head. You can't be both growing hands. things and having like autophagy and the sort yes. of like cleaning out system. But you know, so you're, you're not a look fan like of a, HGH, huh? You're not a fan of HGH. No, I am. You I'm are. just saying like. You have to for longevity, and I guess Tiny we'll be doses. seeing more of it because we're going to say like we don't have a hundred years of these uses. High doses, I would consider like like bodybuilders use fifteen twenty. I use a day. I've taken like two to five a day. And oh. That's considered a moderate. But also that 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 oh, high shit. dose is why you see those bodybuilders. You'll see the physique of the Mr. Olympia change, and that's where they have those power guts. Yes, where there's like yeah. it's a gut, but it's abs. Yes, that's because yep. HGH grows everything. Yeah. Your organs yeah. grow. Your liver grows. Your well, stomach grows. And it affects your like. I'm still learning so about the pushes connections between HGH and insulin, but those two things are kind of yes. Like well, Dorian Yates said, I know 50 guys have dropped dead of heart attacks in their 40s, or you know, right. You only hear about the top ones. Yes. yes. you know. But I mean, I, whatever's going on, that kind of steroid use, that kind of HGH use. Yeah, is and the no numbers, joke. if you really knew, because people like, stero I, I stand by moderate controlled steroid uses at the minimum effective dose. Well, explain you steroids. Do, you know, what do you mean by steroids? So, I so, would, well, you know, even really? So Brian Callen steroids? comes to you yeah. and says, dude, I want to get thick. Can't yeah. help you. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you were doing it the smartest way possible, yeah, you basically start help. with one thing, which could be testosterone. It's the safest because you can kind of ramp it up without toxicity. All the other orals and stuff like that, there's a cost to your body processing it. Yeah. Or putting something that doesn't belong in there, there's a cost. You know, yeah. you're taking a cattle hormone. Like, there's some a cost, side effects. Even yeah. though it might be stronger. A you cattle can, hormone? 
Is uh, that available? Trenbolone, yeah. yeah. Trenbolone is like the meme. It's the most powerful injectable one, and they use it There's like big side for cattle effects, to make cattle gigantic. It's said to be six you're times grow as anabolic as testosterone. Yep, you're going to have an udder, yeah. Brian. It's sort you of like also suck on your udders. Trembolone. Dude, do a bunch of trembolone and let me suck on yeah. your udders. No. You'll also go psychotic at some point because it interferes with your sleep. So when people talk like about dope. roid rage, it's like part of it is androgen, you know, like you're when you sleeping. have androgen signaling, yeah, your brain's really just always firing, like always in fight or flight, but then also you can't sleep. And so, do that for a year dude you hard know. pass <laughs> a hard oh, dude, pass on dude that. you become you can't sleep you become psychotic and you grow udders you and grow, for what you grow udders udders now what about what I'd about like, Let me back them. acne um you know i've what's funny is there's a lot of factors to it like the first cycle I ever took i got acne and you, you're like i doing three things at once i thought it was low but you're still if you ease into it everybody can figure out their own dose as a guy like yeah but you just have to be willing to start low. As we've discussed, you go on the forums, it's like, start at a 500 milligram, you know, no, 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 do a third of that. Do what Ronnie what Coleman does. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, but yeah. they, people That's will read they these do. doses and they don't realize like first, you know, this guy's huge, they're doubling and tripling their doses to eke out another few pounds of muscle. But the difference between what a top Olympian contender might be taking and what you would get, tremendous results would, it, it, like, yeah. it could be, 10 to 20 times what you would get great results from 30 to 40 times what you would get like you'd be happy with but it, i think what's do, what's dope is when i was in high school especially when you're in high school nobody knew what the hell was going like it was just like <laughs> take this you know now there's so much like trial and error where yeah. you can go on you know forums or bodybuilding.com or talk to people that actually know what the hell to do yeah because when i was a kid especially in high school or like college it was like I don't know, man. Try this. You know, yeah. it's nuts. Yeah, just now there's bro science. Now, now there's real smart people who have so trial and error, so and they so can tell you exactly what to take, yeah. how much to take, what it's going to do, side effects. If you do have side effects, take this. Back in the day, you're like, dude, I look sweet, but I have gills. You know, like you have. You know, it's just like gills. I grew a tail. I, I grew a tail. Yeah. 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 What well, about Wenzel and Anavar? Well, these are yeah. These are not as DHT toxic. derivatives, right? So the, you have main three main um, categories: testosterone derivatives. So Dianabol is a testo testosterone. Dianabol, Terinabol, which is the East German shit. Equipoise, which is a horse steroid. Any of that shit sounds terrible. It does. And all it's that all stuff scares me. Just the sound of it, I'm like, right. no. I mean, you can most like most guys. If you just stuck to testosterone and up the dose when you need it and modulated that back and forth, you could get. 90% of the results you're Chin, Chin, I thought you were going to start on TRT. But oh, then you got the blood test and your, your testosterone's popping. It's over a thousand, yeah. But then they Damn. said, do you think because you have the energy of a skunk? Do you think? I don't think it's really kicking in, but I, I talked to Mark about this a lot too. So there's, he, I guess everyone's saying that in the beginning, you take those supplements and it spikes it, spikes but it doesn't it. stay that way. No, no. So no. I have to go wait for my next blood test. Wait, and I, yeah. I would like to get tested. So have you been taking stuff? Uh, you took HCG, right? And Clomid? Or Clomid, just yeah. Clomid, yeah. Clomiphene, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pre pregnenolone. They, yeah, but are they you, just gave me this whole stack of stuff. And that are creates you your testes. Still? Still. Are you lifting weights and every exercising? Every day now. Yeah, okay. Every day. Yeah. With it's a slow process. Now. Yeah. I mean, and especially at 40, it's possible. But it's 45. Like, you know, most guys get into it at 16 and it's like, oh shit, I gained five pounds this month, you know? Yeah, you, I'd get checked out again, Chin, because those will mess with your results they, where they're like, you're fine. You're like, I don't feel yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, what what do you me. think basketball players, football players, what are these people taking? What are Olympic lifters taking? It's all, yeah. those people are, the, 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 I would imagine people, Olympic lifters, yeah. they have the help of a state to help them. They, they've yeah. got serious I think if you're a China, athlete, you yeah. would just be like, because there's no, like every single compound that I can mention, the DHT derivatives, which are anabar and winsorol, which are non-water retentive, you know, so it's like a drier look, but it also like strength without the weight gain per se. You, you know, it's a different thing for every different special thing, but ultimately it all filters to, you want to gain more muscle. Yeah. How do you want to do it? With more water retention, less water retention, these side effects and not these side effects. Yeah. Um, so if you're pro athlete, your main goal is to not get caught. So it's whatever is going to allow you to not get, for example, taking test suspension. If you, you the half life 12 uh, hours ago, if I stopped taking it, yep. I'm clean, you really? know, or they have, um, wow. yeah. and we talk about the East, uh, the, the Russians, like in Sochi or whatever, they had a whole complex system, right? Not only logistically to, to change these tests, but there was supposedly like a cocktail that you could do orally 
because like orals, for example, clear out your system really quick. And well, like, that, well, that's A-Rod, right? Like remember back in the day when they all yeah. got busted? Yeah. He had gummy bears that would lift his testosterone during the game. Right. Wow. And then by the time they test yeah. him, if they decide to test him after, it was gone. Damn. He would eat like these gummy bears. Yeah. So most people don't have to think about detection times or doing something else. But there's it's all about half life about, and how like, long you know, it's in I'm your body. Consult, and I know doctors who are like, yeah, I do the consultations for this sports team. You know, yeah. as I'm sure you guys. Well, do I think it's gotten to a point where if you're an Olympic athlete or pro athlete, if you're if you're not doing something, you're correct. disadvantaged. And Olympic you weightlifting, be, I didn't realize until this last oh. year, extremely corrupt. And you pay people. It's like, oh, we're Azerbaijan. Like, hey, we really want to win this gold. Look the other way. And they can also of use course. it in reverse, where they go, hey, uh, if you don't, if your guy wins, we're popping your whole team. We Damn. need this company to win. So they. Like it's, Damn. I had no idea. It's but a the vicious guys, cycle. Yeah, Fuck. the top can like Lasha, who's the strongest Olympic lifter ever. This heavyweight guy cleans and jerks probably six hundred pounds in practice. Jer the quite jerks what? <laughs> Wait, this part of it cleans and gotcha. jerks. Let me see him, please. Lasha. Lasha. Yeah, look up Lasha, Lasha weightlifting. He can clean and jerk he, and he makes it hundred pounds. Easy is the thing. Like just for the lifted. fans, though, Brian's gonna be stuck on this steroids yeah. and, and also athletes he, he for the next snatches, seven which is the one oh, movement. Yeah. The, Rambo, I don't know if he's hit Rambo, and athletes. Yet. So yeah, That's he's, him? now he's a giant from Georgia, but he, the fluidity with which he moves these weights too, like just knowing how. Boy, technically thick. difficult these like the snatches um so he's a fucking crazy but athlete. he was popped right a few years ago yeah then he's clean now but he gets stronger <laughs> you know sense. so so why why the gut is that does that just part of yeah. the aesthetic <laughs> the, well, the, you the, see the these big, little chinese the, guys look at that, that bar like bending that. on his back the, the more up, weight yeah. that you are the more weight you can push Correct. no matter what at the, the heavy weight, weight yeah but it's really interesting at the like when you see these 125 pound guys and what they could do yeah. it's bananas like the, the a chinese lot of his lifter technique. lou there's a lot of these like really we had a new segment on finding the kid checking in on steroids <laughs> with mark <laughs> you know bending a bar like that i gotta get serious about my weightlifting guys is this guy here yes so like you look at him and go, yeah, dude, he's, he's uh, you know, imagine being the top guy in China. That's natural. <laughs> he's shredded to, he's. Yeah, it's a weird world. Look at his body. But these guys, they'll be like yeah. 170 pounds and can clean and jerk 500 pounds. You know, it, it's. <laughs> that's all they do. It's unfathomable. What an athlete. How strong they are. Well, that's an athlete all the way around. That's crazy. I, I mean. God, how boring would that job be though? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's no, I do. A no, I do. Though, huh? I know. It, it yeah. attracts a certain kind of people. For you know, sure. Like, yeah. Well, there's like that's about all you specialize in is you're yeah. just lifting weight. Yeah, yeah, but I think the the mentality that it takes probably you can apply to other things in life. Like anything you do at that level, you're going to learn a lot about life. Like in a way. Yeah. You know, the, when you when you master something and the challenge of that every day, looking at weight like that, that's actually dangerous to get over your head. I think you learn the things you need you learn the lessons also if you teach that to a kid they're they're at general athleticism if you can teach a kid how to snatch oh, you know how much sure. coordination yeah. that is you know yeah and strength yeah so you know yeah well, they I, used I mean, to always say that kids shouldn't lift weights you've been lifting that has been were, thoroughly debunked. yeah that's yeah. Of course it is. yeah yeah that, that was back in your day you were like yeah, mine, yeah. Uh -uh. it stunts yeah. your growth and stuff but you know people but every kid i know how old were you when you started lifting fourth grade like you were just doing everything my uncle bought me a weight set at the house Look how and your no, growth no, is stunted. Yeah, I'm super stunted. I could have been yeah. seven foot. But uh, yeah, in middle school, I was going to high school working out. That's wow. such an urban myth. Of course it is. Yeah. Stunts your growth. It makes sense. Because no. short kids are really buff sometimes. That's, I think, where it comes from. They're like, oh, you, you're the muscly guy who's 5'4", yeah. like, must have stunted your There's growth. There's also no yeah. skinny small people. Like, they have the blowout asses, the big thighs yeah. and calves, you know? Well, I think it's interesting is you don't know. You, you A lot of times looking at someone's body, they had this five foot three. 13 year old who's dunking a basketball jesus christ five three and he's 13 and, you know some people have that fast twitch muscle that gets them off the ground on a level where it's like what yeah. the fuck yeah, well i think you're one of your teammates somebody was telling me about how there was a guy on your team this black guy and they they said he he was like a human ant it oh, might have been terrence wheatley he Nick, played he started in cornerback for the patriots yeah but could he could 700 pounds yeah he could squat like 600 and he was like 170 pounds <laughs> squat like 600 a human ant his and it, he wasn't thick he no, was just no. really skinny like his quads were chunky but it's it was like john jones calves yeah you'll see guys who can deadlift 900 pounds and they're just built for those leverages like yes. you know you have longer Long arms, arms that help shorter you with deadlifting, distance for example but um there he is and you would never you they look lanky you're like oh you're lanky and you can 
pick up 900 pounds off the floor so weird to think that somebody like and he was like, such he a, like a he was not big i mean and crazy strong wow and then he played uh Cute little kids uh cornerback yeah he was a stud wow how long did he play for uh I again don't know. again looks like a, hey, hey, looks like hey, a regular guy six years i don't know you know you know sorry i got a little crazy yeah you're too, too, i ran too, a four three seven i mean freak. it's got some super speed. freak yeah okay uh how long i don't know how long you played 2009 through 2011 not wait let me see this um i think three years wow just say 2008 to 2010 then 2011 and he was a second 12. round pick which wow. is you know not wow. great three years that yeah after the, the here's the issue when he was drafting the second round as the 62nd pick to only be there for two years, that's an investment. That means it wasn't a fit. Hmm. It's even worse if he's a quarterback because they yeah. invest all this time and money into you. And if they get re like Dwayne Haskins, rest in peace, but they invested a first round pick in him, that's supposed to be the face of the franchise. Oof. So he must have royally fucked up if they get rid of you after a year. Not good. Because they'll, they'll even be like, we, there's too much investment in him. You know, we got to figure just, this it's out. Not clicking. It, dude, a year as a first round draft pick, you must have been just a complete bust. Not good. <sighs> that sucks. Well, he obviously had he had some things going on mentally where he, you know. Yeah, we still haven't found out what happened with that, right? I, I, it sounded to me like, you know, he put threw himself in front of a truck. No one said that, though. But, yeah. but you said that he was going downhill and he had all this like pressure on him. So he must have had a lot of stuff on his mind. So, Man, yeah, because because I'm sure if he was balling out when MVP, I bet he's not. Mm. Throwing himself in front of if a you, truck. If you like don't a lot have of that somebody pressure to, help has you to navigate the dark, you know. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's why therapy is really important. This too shall pass. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. For him, it's probably a lot. So more, important. A lot of pressure. Yeah, it's a, a guy. That, he didn't see a way out. There's yeah. some people that catastrophize. It just comes too much. Yeah. Yeah. And they can't see a way out. Dude, I saw this is this should be called Fire the Kid Dark because I saw a video on World Star. Mm. This girl got arguing with her boyfriend, younger, you know, I don't know, probably twenty some, just jumped out of the apartment uh, building. No. And some nice guy was trying to catch her. Oh. That doesn't work that way. No, you can you die that way. He I don't I don't I don't know. They, there's no follow up on World Star Hip Hop. They How didn't investigate it. I, it has been 20 something. Okay. She's like 23, 24. She jumped out of She jumped out of the window after fighting with her boy, like argument. How high up? Eight stories, probably. Oh my and God. And then this guy's like, because she's like about to jump, and you can see him like oh. this. And he he, he oh, does, God bless he that does guy. a good job trying to catch her, but he gets fucked up. God damn. I don't know if either of them survived. Yeah, you die that you way. You know what? For this episode, let's say they survived. <laughs> Let's say they survived. You know what? He caught her, and yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's And then her boyfriend was like, I'm so sorry. And then they have seven kids now. That's the movies. Well, that was that little kid who fell out the window, and they ca they caught the kid. And the kid was okay. But the kid Kid's like, different. Yeah. But when it's a 150-pound woman, going eight fast? stories, okay. yeah, the you'll, you'll velocity. Die. Yeah, they got. Dude, I'm telling you, he tried it like this. Boom. Fuck, dude. God, oh, God my God. God bless him. Yeah. Catastrophe. Hey, but did you really think you were going to be able to catch her, dude? Fuck. Most people don't you hear those stories all the time. The, the dog you know. is barking too much, and the neighbor, and they're yelling, and then the neighbor just, like this Akita, giant Akita, was like, oh. and uh, she picked the entire dog up and threw him out the window, the neighbor. It's like, that's, that's, an, that's what's called an overreaction. Yeah. I don't know right. if you hear about that all the time, but that, there's cases of that. Yeah. I heard about, don't say that I heard about all it time. once. Yeah. I've never heard I, that. Again, what I like to uh, do. Most people are pretty have their shit together and they're not going to grab an Akita and throw it out the window. Well, I like to exaggerate. Heard yeah, about it once. You said it. I've heard this happens all the time. Yeah. And See, that's wrong, isn't it? Now, I heard about it once. So what I did there is I thought, to if I heard own. about it once, other people have heard about other stories. So that's probably And, and they're out there, but that's definitely the exception. And they're out there. Yeah. If it was just a, a trend people of people just grabbing throwing, dogs, throwing them out the window. It's not happening. It's not raining dogs is what you're saying? No, the only time I heard Cats about that dogs? in that Johnny Depp trial where he grabbed the dog and hung it out the window and started, he was barking. Yeah. Well, his, uh, his talk about how Amber Heard shat the bed and he goes, no, 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 no. I, I've picked up my, the dog's fun and I can tell you that uh, it, it's not of those dimensions. Like, he's so funny. His vocabulary is yeah. fantastic. I can't get enough. Well, he takes, <laughs> he takes one year to get a sentence out. 
I know. It and takes and somehow it works. <laughs> but, he, but even the courtroom's all. No. Yeah. And well, yeah. Delia was talking about how he's mastered the art of stillness. Oh, like yeah. stillness. You know, right? he won't even look at Amber Heard and he just keeps his head down. Like yeah. the discipline to not look up just for a second, he won't do it. He's, he's just a disciplined like, guy. He's drawing and shit. He's a discipline. Now they're on, they're on rest this week, I think, or maybe yeah, they're on rest this week. Yeah, and then they come back. Yeah, and yeah I was reading an article how this expert uh, lawyer was saying that sometimes it helps Johnny Depp because she was the last one to give her testimony. Now his team has a week to eat that thing alive, yeah. but you also let the juries, the jurors rest for a week, and all they think about is Amber Heard shit. You know, though, so I, I was watching dicey. her cry at the strategic times. Oh, no and I just don't buy it. I think she. <laughs> yeah, have you seen? Have you seen the video again? I'm not have you seen her? Liar. Have you seen her where uh, she grabs a napkin, clearly does cocaine? Yeah, I don't she's think all. So. Yeah, I don't think nobody she blows did. her nose no. inward in yeah. one nostril. Yeah, show me one person online who who goes. Amber Heard is the credible person here. In yeah, these contradictory stories. Yeah. Well, the truth I don't think always finds its way. Yeah. You, you, not every time. Well, but that's true. But if, but it'll, ca you don't get away with it. If you get, it, you, it, people can read your body language. People, like human beings, can see bullshit. Th that's why doing podcasts. That's why people say, "I feel like I know you." After they listen to yeah. you, you do. You, you've been, if you've been listening to me this long, you know everything about me because you can't hide. Your body language speaks volumes. Well, if you do yeah. enough shows, you just can't, you can't hide it. Yeah, you can't. I mean, yeah. people know who you are. And, and, and I, th I think that that's kind of one of the cool things about as toxic as social media is. The other thing about social media is ultimately you're probably not going to get away with things. There are too many people watching every detail. They're breaking it down. And ultimately, it's really hard. So when you, the Amber Heard's a classic example. I'm watching her cry. I'm watching her do these like things and I'm and I and talk about how she's embarrassed and humili humiliated. She's hitting all the perfect notes. Yeah. And I'm going, "Man, you're a good actress." Man, are you a good actress? I just don't buy it. My well, if she was better, like, you would buy it. Okay, she's not guess. a good actress. Well, One little detail. Cuz I cuz I cuz yeah, But human beings fake. are not are We can there, smell are, bullshit. Yeah. Did you hear parakeet floors? Do you know about this little moment cuz I it? So much. She goes, "The the accusations are that she's reading from a script." The yeah. hardest proof of that is, she goes, and he was just dragging me across these parakeet floors, and uh, he threw me to the parakeet floors. It's parquet floors or something like that. Like, <laughs> a, like, and she read it wrong. So it's like you didn't like you came up with this word to describe it. Somebody else did you memorize oh, it without looking see at what the pronunciation? I mean? Someone's like got over this with her to have a script. Yes. Damn. Ooh, and she definitely brutal. did cocaine. Parakeet floors. I don't think she's doing <laughs> cocaine, but I don't think. <laughs> oh, I don't put that past her, man. You're talking about a real fucking sociopath. You want to watch it real quick? Yeah. <laughs> unless there were parakeets. <laughs> right. Yeah, unless, yeah, unless there's some sort of flooring we don't the know about. Archive snow. That's built Our just for parakeets. <laughs> she's doubling it. Yeah. And she's also trying not to look too attractive, right? Yeah, she's very attractive. That's hard. Yeah, me. I mean, she can shit in my bed. <laughs> I mean, I was going to say. I'd be like, come on. Then it's over. Come on. I know we had a fight. Come she, on. She, she is. Parakeet floors. I mean, just skidding, shoving me. I went flying across, across these parakeet floors. I went flying I mean, just across these parakeet floors. Flying across these parakeet floors. floors. Yeah, and that's not a thing, is it? See it? It's parquet or something. Like, I, don't, I didn't know the term, but it's wrong. And she claimed to be, you know, like know what the floors are and... But wow. it's in a. It's in. If a, I was her, I would have went and be like, in a, "Parquet." They should be like uh, parakeet floors. And do you mean parquet? I'm like, oh, yes. But as a joke, we say it's parrot floors because we have all these parrots. <laughs> yeah. But then you're going down a weird yeah. rabbit hole because then Johnny Depp's like, "We don't have parrots." Johnny Depp's like, no, laughing. I grew yeah. up with parrots. Yeah. My friends would call. My floor is better keep the floor. Now you're just in this weird. You ain't getting away with it. No, man. You ain't getting away with it. I don't think, yeah, I, I think she's screwed. Screwed meaning, you know, Johnny Depp has some sort of way to get back to Hollywood. Yeah. That's all he so. wants, really. I think so. That's all he wants. I think that, I don't know that this is great for her career, but it's. Well, oh, did you see what happened to that celebrity chef? During the Me Too movement, they went for him. There's, I mean, you know, I don't know what's uh, going on with that, but Mario Baldi. Or yeah, right? yes, yeah. Mario Baldi. Patali. Patali. Mario Patali. So what happened? So this is crazy. So this lady goes, "Yeah, I was in a restaurant or bar, or whatever, and he's groping me and grabbing me, putting his lips on me." 
But then here's what happens is the prosecution, they can have access to your phone. And, she, and uh, her friend and her are discussing it. And she goes, yeah, he was a little handsy. And her friend goes, you got to get money out of him. That's how this works. She goes, of course. How much you think is fair? She goes, at least 10 grand. So they're discussing that. Oh, my God. So they have those texts. So it got, he was what found not asshole, guilty. Man. But in civil court it, it could get dice for him and there's also like seven other women coming after him so it could get a little well dicey. he was in but a, with this one oh, in particular man. this is all i know about i don't know what this man does but it, in this one it's just crazy that they got under a text and shows like she was only going for money that's it and, and when they at the prosecution brought up like the text she goes i thought that's how this works even though you know he was handsy i thought with celebrities they just pay this off i thought that was how celebrities work and the judge was Man, like, what uh -uh. a fucking I, I've I know some people who have to deal with that. They they just get extorted. I mean, you know. Oh well, it says we know she lied and scammed a gym for two hundred dollars. What would she do for fifty grand? Yeah. Just play up the uh, look, just play up the story. And she put, Oh my god, of course, Queen. Queen. Wow. At first it was selfies and then it turned out. How do you live with yourself? Somebody... How the fuck do you live with yourself? How do you live with yourself, man? Like honestly. This is so gross. This is how you want to make money, and you think you're going to get away with it? Oh, and that's just, the one. But, just karmically, ethically. And the one with the Mr. Incredibles chin, she was the one <laughs> that said that he uh, told the friend to do that stuff. Who is that? That's the, the friend, friend who was texting, like, make sure you Mr. get money out of him. You're an him. asshole. Mr. Incredible face. <laughs> yeah, what a scumbag, man. Weird. I would right? sue that, man. Fuck you. Yeah, there's a bunch of cases. But, you know, she. He, uh, there it is. There you go. Yep. There you go. That's as is made. That's yep. pretty amazing. The gift, sir. Thank you. Shout out to Pixar. That is incredible. All right, Chin, give some current Jesus events, dude. Christ. All right, cool. Yeah, and that's strange. It sucks. Now the other things, I have no idea what happens. He apparently, touching. There was, there was, but apparently he has some history with this. There's touching. like seven okay, others. Appropriate touching. Yeah. Okay. Um, I've never heard of them before. Have you guys heard about this story? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't follow it. Okay, so this was a corrections cool. officer, a cor corrections officer, Vicky White. Yeah, and she developed this relationship with this guy named Casey White that was a prisoner, oh. and he's huge, six nine, two hundred sixty pounds. He's so big. Yeah, I saw him walking back into jail. I'm like, holy shit! Big yeah, guy. he was playing for the fucking Broncos. <laughs> he's so big, Jeez. really big. Yeah, bad guy though. Apparently, yeah. Apparently, he murdered someone. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, yeah. So, can't play for the Broncos. Uh, it was like a, a relationship they had for a long time, and then eventually she was supposed to retire. The day that she retired, uh, she, she had sold her house for half its value, bought a truck, and then helped this guy escape. And then- True love, huh? Yeah, yeah. Then so they said the they were married, but there's no actual official no, no, document no. saying they were married. They were just, yeah. So then they're on the lam for a f like three weeks, I think. I think for, yeah, 11 days or something. Dude, like and they were staying in the same fucking honeymoon city the where they escaped in a hotel Someone room. Got them. So then someone tipped him off. Tipped him off because they saw him driving down the street. Where, <laughs> like two blocks from the prison. It's also not a very good. Yeah, that's not a very good. So then they there. go on the run. And then when they're on the run, you, you know, sh there's a voice recording her going, hey, let's run. And then she just takes a gun and shoots, oh. herself, shoots herself. Yeah. Oh. So she's she passed away. And that guy's in custody right now. And he, the, he, apparently uh, she was like a very, very well-respected. Like everyone loved her. She was really great at her love. job. She yeah. fell in love. Yeah. She, and she was a no widow. Love. She was a widow too. So. You know, I have Probably so much. I'm sorry. I have a lot of sympathy for people. I know. Like I feel that. bad for. Her. Yeah, I you feel know, bad for. Her. She was so lonely. She fell in love, and she's like, "If I can't have him, what's the what? What? What do I have? What's the point?" You know. Oh, that's and she's gonna go to jail for sure. For oh yeah, yeah, getting a yeah. Because you know how she got him out. She said that she's doing like a, a mental health check, and mm. she needs to take the inmate to whatever the doctor. Yeah. And so he jumps in, and then they just drive off. And that she was so trusted, and you know, it makes me sad. They loved her. Yeah, yeah. it's a bummer. This was not they a said bad they never person. expected this from this her. This was a desperate. And they might have had a real person. connection, and she's like, "This is awful. This is the love of my life." He's six nine, murders people. You know, <laughs> How, I, I don't know what those what his situation was. But. Oh, not. Hey, I'll I'll tell you, not good. Yeah, he was yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, murder. He had a bunch of charges, including one that's so he's you know, a murder. lifelong killer. He was in for seventy five years. <laughs> okay, well, no, he's a really bad there. guy. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. She seems. You know, like the good person, but just yeah. fell in deeply in love with this murderer and yeah. tried to get him out of there. And of course, it didn't work out. Yeah. 
terrible story. Yeah. He's so big though. I want the to cops. Say this, when like, you when you said that, I wanted to be like this. Happens all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's all the time. What's this? <laughs> Uh, remember that guy, Ollie London, that British dude that tra transformed into a Korean guy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember him? Now, she has transformed into a woman now. So she's transgender and transracial. What's her pronoun so we don't mess it up? I don't know. <laughs> I think they. Uh, there are some things going on with this person. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of backlash online. That was right? Ollie before. Oof. And now that's Ollie. Okay. Untouchable yeah. now. Can't touch her. Yeah, that's uh, tough. Transgender Korean Some people just English don't know. Man. Some people I, just have that thing in their head and they just don't know what the hell's going on. Here's my thing. Yeah. If if she's happy and she's wants happy, to do that, all good. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Go I, ahead. I don't think that that's someone who's happy. I think that's confused and yeah. yeah. I don't know. Going through a I don't lot know. Less, sure a some lot, of them I, are. I, happy would not be the word I would I would use to describe someone like that. Something just very lost. That's. Uh, Total yeah. 30. 30 look at on the left, man. Yeah. That's to the right, that's nutsos. Those eyes are popping. <laughs> yeah. Those cat eyes. Fuck, man. Those came with it. I don't know it. about the doctors that do this, too. As a doctor. That's got to be trippy, like, too. Yeah. I, I think about that. I do this to you, young man. I think about that. But, I, I, but I, it, I, I know when you go to have like surgery to like cut off your genitals, or whatever, there, there has, you have to meet with a uh, oh, you mean, okay, uh, yeah. a therapist and like a psychologist to, yeah. to get the okay to do I the know, surgery. I know, but the problem is that therapists and psychologists are not. They have their hands in their gonna, pocket. I've seen, a, a, dude, I've seen this a million They're times. They're not experts. How about dude, that? I've seen a million English people turn into a Korean female a million times. <laughs> yes, just yeah. to your point, dude. I mean, it happens every day. <laughs> therapists and and psychologists are simply not experts on uh, on this because this. Well, who is though? It's new. It's, too, it's so new. It, this is something. That no, you, you know who would be a great expert is someone who's transgender who has gone through it and is happy. It is no, happy. No, even and then, figured out. Even then, it's like. You, no, that would be way better. Be, but these are individuals who are going through their own journey, and it's very hard. I don't know. I mean, but there's people that have gone through the journey. Is my point be? And if they're if they have the education to be a therapist or a counselor, like that's who you want to talk to. So not you, somebody that can't relate. So if you look at the suicide rate among transgender people or people who have what's called gender dysphoria, it's very high, and it's in some cases it's high as fifty percent. I'm 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 only I'm only parroting, echoing what I have heard and read from people who seem to really actually look at the data maybe bring that up to you just so we're not way off yeah no I mean, it's a taboo topic but rogan had that woman on who discussed it like people who retransition that kind of does seem to be suppressed like people who go hey i have a like a warning story they don't really like that you know yes. what i mean so well no we don't so, get to hear those voices sometimes and, but there are those voices and so, so when you see people that go through their their transition it doesn't mean that that their the suicide rate goes down it doesn't when you when you have gender affirming surgery, it doesn't mean that you actually, according to the data available, that it, it doesn't mean it actually stops it's tough uh, either way. Suicide. Yeah. It's either just, way, it's tough. Yeah. But but I do think like you know when they're when they're talking about there it is kids and stuff. Yeah, man, you shouldn't let a kid decide what if they're gonna you know transition. But they're into doing a that now, Brandon. Brandon. No, that that's my I have an issue with that. Yeah. But if it's a grown adult who wants to do it. Yeah. By all means, do it. Exactly. You know, I'm not, I would never stop. But that. also, I think some too to that suicide rate is they're still not really accepted among societies. That has something to do with it. Of course. And online, you think you get death threats online? Yeah. Try being a black transgender woman oh my God, that yeah. went from man to woman. The oh death God. threats, and then not, and your death threats aren't real. Their death threats when they walk down the street to get coffee That's is right. real. So that, well, that's why suicide is through the even roof. If I, I always say this. Weird. I yeah, it's and horrible. You can't knock. I can go, yeah, they're probably looking at my hair. That well, person kind of has a better idea. Yeah, it's horrible. Well, it's horrible. Well, one of the things I touch on in my special is like when, when people, I remember when, if you were very flamboyant and you were a very gay, sort of like you were very flamboyant, you were very, you know, expressive yeah. with your body, let's say, as a, as a gay man. Yeah, growing up, yeah. Growing up, yeah. that was physically dangerous for you. For physically sure. dangerous. It wasn't that you didn't that you couldn't have a job. You you got shunned. You had to keep it a secret. You you wouldn't get promoted. There are all those things. They, gay rights are twenty years old. I mean, they've been fighting for them for a long time. But as far as like actually people who accept gay marriage and gay in the mainstream, that's fifteen years old, dude. Will and Grace was a groundbreaking show. And so people forget how far we've come even in 20 years. It was physically dangerous. Yeah. It still is, though. It's not countrywide. It's Le not a even, lot you know, less. A lot less, a but still not great. Yeah. A lot um, less.
Yeah. So. so. We've stigma. covered a lot of ground here, kids. <laughs> what else T you got, Jen? Right. T-Fat K dark. <laughs> T-Fat K action dark. I'm liking, I'm liking Mark Crispy. Harley as the... Uh, <laughs> I'm liking Mark Harley as, as sort of the the, the first episode the seasoning. Right. He seasons this show. Smart guy. Yeah. Very oh, smart guy. Steroid expert too. He's kind of an expert. I think steroids. Very good actor. Yeah, steroids in this guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a crazy everyone one. gets jacked once Mark's on board. <laughs> People are getting more jacked though. T Fat K juicy mm -hmm. juicy <laughs> since 2022. Uh huh. Yeah. This is insane. So. Um, I don't know. It's like one of those smaller planes, what but the, the pilot somehow passed out, was incoherent, said the passengers, I don't know how many they, they said there were. They don't, they're not giving names or anything either, but uh, one passenger called the CB radio or whatever and said, like, uh, my pilot passed out and uh, <laughs> he said, I'm resting my eyes. <laughs> I have no idea how to fly the plane. Apparently, you, you know what they did is they found out what plane it was mm -hmm. and they took a picture and then the people on the ground in the tower was like, right, you need to do this, this, and this. Yeah. And my favorite is they go, what, what, like, what's your uh, latitude, longitude? And he goes, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I've never done this before. He goes, I can see the coast of Florida. Yeah. And he goes, okay, just stay parallel to that. And then once you hit this, and then he goes, hey, you can hear him go. And he's pretty calm. He goes, I've never landed a plane before. Man. I, I have no idea how to turn this thing off. <laughs> it's just like, Yay! fuck. And he's just, how scary really is that? Calm. But he landed it. They said he landed it just like an actual licensed yeah. pilot, like even better. Wow. Yeah. So what's the takeaway, kids? Okay, <laughs> no. Study how to, no. YouTube nope. landing a nope. plane. What's the takeaway? <laughs> Fly the plane is pretty easy. <laughs> right. We're giving pilots too much crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's autopilot. Uh, so for the takeoff and landing, you know it's what? pretty easy. That's a hell of a landing. Soft mm -hmm. landing, too. Wow, that's a hell of a landing. It's so funny. You hear me just be like, uh, they're asking him all these detailed questions. He goes, I don't know, man. <laughs> Longitude? La what the fuck? No, I can see the coast of Florida. <laughs> You know, he's like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think I, I see a McDonald's. I fight. Dude, is, that's where you're. Can I see? Why is Britney Spears posting nude pics? What is this about? You keep hearing doing, about she's this. been doing that. You keep hearing about this and you watch Rambo. Yesterday I heard about it. Yeah, in Rambo. When I was watching Rambo, it was in the movie. She's celebrating her freedom. Yeah, she's just doing her thing. Yeah. All right. Cool. Hashtag let him breathe. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. She was butt naked, man. All right. Still bodied up. Oh, yeah. Don't look crazy at all. What do you got to do? <laughs> Her eyes, she just looks kind of like gone. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. think? I, I'm not saying it's like uh, the people they, they get so crazy. So Kim Kardashian can do this, but Britney can't. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. I know who cares. Everybody calm down. People are so active. It's like, okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is the last one. So Mike Tyson won't be charged at all for that one plane beating that he did no, on that should. crazy guy. <laughs> yeah, because the guy doesn't press charges and. They kind of oh, the guy didn't press charges. No, no, he's become a great American figure. He, he blew up out of nowhere. He's a he's a fucking wise sage. Like when he talks, there's something so honest about him. Yeah, do you feel that way? Like mm -hmm. I do. He's certainly unfiltered. Did he's you guys got remember some that wisdom Tyson there. documentary by I think oh, yeah. James Toback directed it. Yes, he he. They set it up so it was like James was behind him and like a it was like a therapy session. So he doesn't look at anything, and you can see it in his eyes. He is being so open and honest. You're like everything you say. You're like, oh, he couldn't even think about. But you want to like you want to talk about how way. how America loves a comeback story. You, you know, you're talking whether he did or not. You're talking about a guy that was found guilty by a jury. And that was and went watching to that prison. Doc, I was like, yeah. for, I for guy, rape. You know? yeah. Went to prison. Yeah, I don't know if I believe it, but either way, <laughs> went to prison for rape, dude. Yeah. Seven years or whatever. Yeah. Six years. And then, you know, most athletes or public figures are screwed. Yeah, and this guy, you know, really, you look at Todd yeah. Phillips, who brings him back, puts him on the the Hangover, and you you, yeah. you realize, oh, he's this fun guy, yeah. you know, and he's worked on himself, and he's very compassionate, and yeah. he's a good person, and now now he has his podcast, so you can actually hear his voice. Like, you want to talk about a comeback? He was story? open. He was America's open. in love with Mike. He Tyson. was open to. Um, he he allowed us in, and we watched him evolve, like truly. Like he was so open with everything he was going through. But that's how. But that's how w the world should work. Like people make mistakes. Yeah. Whether you believe that or not, he, they make mistakes. They grow from it. What is the point of prison? It's a rehabilitation center. They're supposed to come back to society as normal people. That's how prison's supposed to work. There's not a poster boy on this fucking planet 
that didn't go through the prison system and become come out better than Mike Tyson. Yeah. He's yeah. gentle. He's more open. You know, I know you see that pastor he's whipping his ass, but that's not Mike Tyson. Like that's him pushed to the yeah. brinks. But you know, he's very open, compassionate. He he gives younger fighters advice. Yeah. He's a great dad. He's a podcaster. He had a one man show on fucking Broadway. I know. He toured all around the world doing it. Like yeah. it's such like that's how. People make mistakes, man. Yeah. No matter what the magnitude is, if if you put in the time, you put in the effort, this is how it should work. Yeah. No matter who it is. And I think that whether you're famous or not. The lesson is also owning up to your mistakes. That's 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 when you get to be older, you have to set an example. That's what I'm trying to do. And I think uh, You're going back to this? No, I, I'm just telling you, man. It's <laughs> yeah. important. It's important. Yeah, and, I, and I think by the way, in the doc, I believe that he thinks he didn't commit the crime. And, and everything else he does take ownership for, he's, he has a great perspective on that. But at least I got like, I'm like, because the narrative, I didn't really, I was a kid at the time, but I just thought Mike Tyson rapist. And then you hear him like, oh, he, he believes he didn't do it. And everything else seems to be so open. I agree. Constantly. He's like, it was embarrassing how open I was. Yes. But. Yeah. It's a phenomenal dog. No, it's phenomenal. Yeah, I agree. Everything else he kind of owns and that he's like, that never happened, man. Yeah. And you're like, and he has no reason to lie. Yeah. He did serve yeah. the time. It's over, man. Yeah. Yeah. And he has no reason to lie. And like, all right. And then you look more into it, like, okay, it's up to, you know, yeah. for a debate. Yeah. Redemption. But it's, he's also a guy that, that doesn't even cross my mind. Like I've worked with him, been around him a bunch. No. That stuff doesn't cross my mind. You're talking about such a gentle, sweet, kind guy yep. yeah. who grew up horribly. Yeah, and then came out of you know, hide came, came, between came, walls. Came from the gutter to what he's doing now. Like it's such an inspiring story. And I think that was always in him because when I, I remember watching that MTV did this great doc about it back in the day, and I learned about the pigeons that he had. It's like this is a guy who always loved animals. Yeah, you know yeah. he's not loved a sociopath, him. obsessed with animals. Yep. He, you know, the, the, growing up in a really rough environment forces you you know to think a certain yeah, way. Yeah, it's such a great comeback story. Yeah, some what he would email custom auto if he could. And he was like, damn, that's a good one. Who asked him that? Um, a guy, I can't remember who it was. On, on the podcast? Yeah, and he said, damn, I never had anybody ask me that question. Like, it was, was it our friend Joe Rogan? He was just <laughs> on No, it was a good, I, a good question. Now, what no, Rogan's you? out of your eight. I see you couldn't remember. Uh, <laughs> he's, not, he's out of my eight. Uh-oh. He's out of my eight. <laughs> Deep callback <laughs> to the beginning of the episode. Out of my, I was listening to him. The last episode I was listening to was Douglas Murray. I gotta get uh, Rogan and Douglas Murray. Yeah, that was really a good, good. one. Yeah, I haven't listened to great. it. Yeah, he's so smart and articulate, and just makes this case where you kind of like, gutsy. Look, I'm stu uh, Yeah, he's like took on the whole woke mob. Dude, what's his? Yeah, what's his he's thing? He's one of those I'm not familiar very intelligent guys who writes books. He, he wrote yeah. the madness of crowds. Yeah, he wrote his new book, The War on the West, and he's like, he's he's like, look, when you say that the West. When you describe Western civilization as only a, a, an oppressive patriarchy that invented slavery, <laughs> yeah. uh, you are he so historically ignorant. Yes. Yeah. The amount of slavery that was going east, there was slavery going west from Everywhere. Africa. There was Back a then, tremendous amount yes. of going east, Correct. believe me. Yeah. And it was, All it was horrible. every bit as horrible. But we get labeled, yeah. you know. And pro-Western narratives tend to be grouped with, it's like, a right. oh, you're all right Nazi? It's like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, I, I actually think there's some good stuff that we've <laughs> yeah, done. Yeah, I've looked in into it. I'm not a yeah. Nazi. You mean, like, you mean like democracy? You mean like individualism? Yeah, correct. You mean like humanism? The, yeah, the... The do you mean like? Do you mean values, like? Wait, wait. Do you mean like yeah. feminism? Do you yeah. mean like human yeah. rights? Not, our, not. We're not judging ourselves by our worst mistakes ever. Going, what do we uphold and say we're striving for? The very language yeah. in the Bill of Rights, the very yeah. language in these in the Constitution, yeah, was used by people who are marginalized in this country, including yeah. slaves, to liberate themselves. Yeah. So, the, 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 yeah, of course, Mark. we have the standards. Of <laughs> yeah, Mark, yeah. tell him. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you leave America? And I think about that yeah, because get out of here. Who's a Gary Kasparov? The guy. Uh, yeah. I, he wrote this book, Winter's Coming. R a Russia, a Russian, uh, the Russian chess genius. That clicked home with me because I go, you could go to Russia. and It's a modern country. They do not uphold the same values. So they're not even striving. They they'll pay basic lip service to the idea of the rule of law. You have no rights as an individual. It's zero. Wants and it. as a creative. You know? Or if you go against yeah. the agenda, you're yeah. screwed. Yeah. But but more so. importantly, one of the one of the delineating lines is that when you have a country like Russia, yeah. like Putin and his group, yeah. they can come in at any time, kill you with anonymity, or take all your property, yeah. and you have zero, zero. recourse. You yeah. do nothing. You can't hire right. a lawyer. You can You have to just it's take top it. to bottom. Do you see it's what might you makes right? Do you see what's interesting with you know? There's this uh, narrative that Putin's sick, and that's why he's doing all this stuff, and this even. You know, ignites this even more is because he was supposed he plays in this uh, hockey game, 
this it's like a national hockey game it's a big deal for him and he announced oh, I'm, I, just, I just don't feel like doing it. he shows up and he has these like scars from there saying something from medication or from a surgery or whatever but they're covered in makeup wow. and he has a blanket wow. over his legs Damn. and then, and then yeah. they showed the last time he's playing and he's on the ice like his wow. identity is strength and i'm viral yes. and i can lift weights and play yes. hockey that's that the not anymore thing. yeah he's saying viral not viral <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um he's going viral baby yeah um and and is i agree apparently do you see the thing about the no. the no. table he would only sit with uh, these other world leaders like 20 feet away from them like that's well, probably COVID. he's probably right. no no yeah, no yeah, he was he, he was he didn't trust anybody he didn't trust anybody in his cabinet oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah somebody asked me like, why don't they just poison him? i'm like you know how hard it would be to poison putin from inside he's very russia? aware of the history of that in russia it happened yeah. all the time it would make separate for him. He's the only yeah. person in Russia. Yeah, they're the ones who do it. But yeah. also, <laughs> but, but also, you, there's a, a there's a play on Broadway. There's also a great book on it where not or uh, Hitler uh, had women, and they would because he was vegetarian. He had a group of six women before anything he ate. They would all try it. Yeah, and they were just in tears because they're so scared. Oh None of them ever died. Yeah, but yeah. they just went through so much trauma and pressure, yeah. and they're like, the yeah. food was really good. Crazy they didn't there was empathize no meat. for them. What'd you say? Crazy they didn't empathize for them. Yeah, You'd yeah. Think, uh, <laughs> they, they, they were they were terrified. Wasn't Go bothered ahead and by eat their that. tears. Yeah, Go yeah. Ahead and eat that. Let me see. Yeah, that's kind of a good job. You eat really well. <laughs> Psychologically terrorized, but you are full. You are. Yeah, you're not skinny. Being poisoned is a horrible of way weight. to die. Oh yeah, horrible way to die. The radiation oh. stuff that Putin actually does. Oh where my it's god! Like, or just ingesting poison irony. and dying that way. Yeah, horrible. Or horrible. they took out Kim Jong Un's brother that way. Remember, yeah. like so, some weird shit, some weird. She rubbed it in his face or something. Oh, and then he just died. Yeah, it was like a surprise. It was in Indonesia. Yeah, it was in that, an right? airport. That's how in Indonesia. easy it is oh, to oh, kill somebody. Nerve agent. See ya. Jesus Christ. in I mean, you could if you take a if you took a cyanide capsule. You would die almost like like almost immediately. Like you you just you can drink a poison where you start foaming at the mouth and you just you just go out. That guy that that guy was being tried as a war criminal. He was a Croatian, I think. He was a Croatian general or maybe a Serbian general. And he goes, "I'm innocent." He was at the Hague, and he, you see it on TV. He goes, "I am innocent." Yes. Drinks the potion yeah, and I just goes that, yeah. fucking dead. I mean, watching it after the fact, but <laughs> yeah. he was like a real hardcore. Yeah, you ever seen that? Apparently, <laughs> no. Oh, dude, he was. No, I don't. Hey, I, can't, I don't see somebody die in the show. No, <laughs> but just that whole conversation. People I falling was, out of buildings. Dogs. <laughs> dogs have died in this episode. People have been poisoned. People have fallen out of buildings. Hitler. There he is. War criminal yeah. dies after drinking poison in court. You see the whole court going. Wait, what happened? Yeah. What? What happened? I, I think he shows him that he just passes. Yeah, out, he's like he, or he's like foaming at he's the He's kind mouth. of a badass though. The way he said it, he goes, "I'm fucking innocent," you yeah. know, and he just goes, "I'm not letting you guys do this to me anymore." That's a that's that's a tough dude. Jesus Christ! He wouldn't but, have look at him. They're looking at him. Does he die shortly that, those after? Those are his lawyers. Does he right away? Oh wow! Nothing tops right Bud away. Dwyer, huh? You know what I'm talking about? Hey man, nice shot. Pennsylvania God damn, that's a that's Treasury. a that's a fucking that's a guy who's that, that, that those men the snap. Face. They don't they don't die. They snap. They're just like, nah, you're not doing this to me. Honor is more important than my life. Jesus Christ! He's a badass. Uh, war criminal, you know. I don't, well, I don't have to know. Well, more. war criminal. I mean, yeah, that yeah, that that was what he was protesting. That he wasn't a war criminal. Yeah. Well, if you want to see more of this in <laughs> Philadelphia next week, just kidding. I don't get this darker series. Well, I'll be <laughs> I'll be this weekend tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, Washington D.C. D.C. Comedy Loft. Then I got my special Bray Improv special taping May nineteenth. Come, come get some. West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, me and Mark thought about the spe the title for your special. What is it? You should call it, uh, uh, your special should be called Joe Rogan Misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> I just, how can you funny. not do it at this point? It's very funny. Or Joe, Joe Rogan unvaccinated. Brian Callen. Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan unvaccinated. Do you think YouTube would let you do that? That'd be fucking hilarious. We're going to get a COVID claim yeah. on Would this. Would Joe let me do it? That's the question. No, uh, I'll answer that. No. He'd be like, don't do that. <laughs> Joe, Please let me do, do this. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan naked. <laughs> naked. Joe Rogan naked and afraid. <laughs> I just call it Joe Rogan light. He used to always call me that. You're Joe Rogan light. Oh, uh, that's funny. I don't like that as much. No. Uh, yep. So go see Brian Callen in Washington, D.C. Comedy Loft. You're there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. You said just Friday. Saturday? No, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yep. Tomorrow. 
Thir- um, th- yeah, this Thursday, Friday, Friday Saturday, you're Friday in t-shirt, Washington, D.C. Yeah. And you're there to speak the truth. Yes. And I am in Philadelphia, Philly, one of my favorite cities. Next week, next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, that is May 19th through the 21st. I'm at the Helium in Philadelphia. Uh, L.A. is the Hollywood Improv, 8 p.m. show, Shop and Friends, Los Angeles, California. One show with Monsters at 8 p.m. Uh, then back on the Trash Panda Tour, Portland, Oregon. That's a Helium 2, June 9th through the 11th. Then San Francisco. I haven't been there forever. San Francisco, uh, June 17th through the 18th. San Diego's July 21st through the 23rd. But uh, Philly, you're up next week. That is next Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Get your tickets at thickboy.com. If you're looking for whiskey, uh, Tiger Thick Whiskey is available now online. Whatever city you're in, state, doesn't matter. You can get it online at thickboy.com. You'll see it on there. Tiger Thick Whiskey is available right now. Philly, you're up next great, week. Great whiskey. Yep. Thanks, buddy. Can we do one more plug? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, the concert, remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, when is that, Chin? May, May 17th. 17th. Tuesday, May 17th, 8 p.m., 15 I'll be there. bucks. That's That'd next awesome. Tuesday. Yeah, the one that's coming up. So I'm next excited. Tuesday. At the Troubadour. It's Little Brows, Chin, mm-hmm. Mark Harley might pop yep. up, Chappelle might pop up. Mm-hmm. I might sell merch. You never know with me. That'd be awesome. <laughs> sure. But you guys should crush it, man. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. I heard nice. Eminem's popping up. <laughs> Maybe. I heard. There's all those rumors. I heard there's rumors that Drake and Kanye are yep. coming up. Yeah. Yep. Kanye's right. going to be there. That's Thanks, fantastic. Dude. All right, guys. Love you, Philly. See you next week. This is the Fire Kid. We're out.